All right, Shalom. Um, I want to. I'm Zahab GMS, Mississippi Camp, giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, giving double honor to the apostles of GMS, and also saying salutations to the elect. All right, and today I'm going to go into the kingdom, man. All right, and basically explaining what we have here on on planet Earth right now, and what we're going to have in the kingdom, right? Because basically, what you see, what you see around you. Is a power structure, all right, and it extends throughout the whole world, and um, basically is the so-called white man's power structure, all right. That's why it says in Second Thessalonians, he 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 said it in the temple of the Most High, so himself that he is the Most High, because he he's basically created his heaven on earth, man, his government, his dominion on earth, man, all right, and basically what you see around you, you know, when you go to the downtown area once you go to the downtown area you'll see buildings skyscrapers office buildings that's a part of a big network that's a part of a big structure uh, a power structure right and you know like i said in a previous lesson once you go to school and you go to college you're basically getting groomed up to be a servant in esau's power structure you don't have ownership of any of that man even if you have some business that little business is only a small entity within a greater structure all right. And what he one of the things he does to maintain his structure is to create systems. All right. And the system is basically his way of doing things and it's his laws, his statutes, his commandments. All right. So when, when Jake is oppressed and he said it's the system, he's right. It's the Esau's uh, basically law, statutes and commandments in which he orders or he functions with his structure. man. All right. So. He created the system to where the twelve tribes would be at the bottom. He created the world. He created it to where he he created laws to basically oppress you. Like if you get found with like a certain amount of grounds of crack, that's automatically like five years in prison. All right. Whereas you got caught with cocaine, that's less amount of time. Like a key of coke, it'll be less amount of time. But Esau created that system to oppress the twelve tribes because he gave us that crack. You see. And then once you go to jail and you get out of jail, you can't find a decent job or you can't find a job at all. So what's going to happen? You're going to result to the same thing that you did to make that money. But what is that? That's a part of his system. He 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 blueprinted this. You see, that's why it says that he oppresses the poor. All right. He, he blueprinted this, man. That's a part of his system, man. You got to sign up for the military when you're 18. That's his law status and commandments, man. That's a part of his system. Which he uses to order his stru uh, his structure, his little power structure that you see, that you see all around you, all right? So as as the elect, hopefully elect, as men of your power, by some power side, we hope to be a part of a power structure, all right? Once America gets destroyed, and it will be destroyed, all right, um, we're gonna create a power structure, and the system is gonna be the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, man. The law, statutes, and commandments is not there for fun, man. It's there to govern a society or to govern a structure, man. So when we take over a land, for a, a, a example, and you 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 have a, a group of people with you or a nation of people, in our case, a nation of people with us, you have to, and you and you decide to create a structure. You have to have a system to maintain that structure, and the system is the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, man. All right. And like it says in St. John, in my father's house are many mansions. Now, the word mansion means dwelling place. Now, what happens is we're going to extend the kingdom kingdom to those other dwelling places, also known as planets. All right. And a dwelling place or uh, is, an, is, an, uh, is a habitation. Now, what makes the planets uh, inhabitable, man? You got something called the sun because the sun gives solar energy. All right. Also known as power. That's why you got a cluster of planets, and it's called the solar system because those so-called nine planets, Earth, Venus, uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, that's what we were taught in school. They're given energy by the sun, but you have to ask yourself, why are they there and why are they given energy by the sun? Because they're soon going to be inhabitable for us, all right? They're, they're there. They're being, they're, they were being prepared by your house side, man. They were being prepared by your house, but to bring it back to the, the topic of this lesson, once we 
establish the kingdom kingdom on the planet Earth, the Most High is going to make us governors and basically kings and priests um, over power structures and different on those different planets. And the system that we're going to use to maintain those power structures are the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So every citizen in your domain, in your terrain, all right, in your land, is going to have a beard on his face, all right? He's going to uh, he's gonna have fringes, okay? Um, he's not going to eat pork. He's not going to commit adultery. Every, every, every citizen, because that's a part of the system, the new implemented system, man, all right? And your structure is going to be structured by the system, which is created in uh, basically in the first five books of Moses, man. All right. See, that's what happens. Um, you know, I'm just I'm just talking right now, like a, a so I guess you could say a a, a rant or ex explanation of how things worked in the spirit, man. Like you had something called um the Moorish rule. The Moors were basically Israelites that were under Islam, but they were so zealous for their uh their their religion because within their religion was a structure. See, even Islam has laws, statutes, and commandments. And what happened was when the Moors would take over those different lands, they would implement that system over their land. So the people that the people that they co uh, conquered had to convert to their religion, and in turn had to start abiding by that system, man. The system that was in the Quran, man. All right. So we turned those different lands out, so to speak, man. All right. When we were under Islam, all right. Even over there in Iran, in the Middle East, when those people go to court, a part of their structure is, or a part of their system. They're getting they're getting judged. Their, ju ju their judicial laws are uh, go back to the Quran. So when they get judged, they get judged based on what's in the Quran. So that judge is going to make a decision based on what he studied in the Quran, man. Because their uh their their religion is in sync with their law, so to speak. All right. Same thing with us in the kingdom when we set up those different power structures. All right. The most I may give you some land or a planet. And you're going to deck it out how you want to deck it out. But that system is going to be the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And you're going to implement that system. When, when people go to you for um different um conflicts, you're going to adjust the situation based on the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. If if somebody, a heathen, uh, within your domain commits adultery and he's proven guilty, you're going to judge him according to the law, statutes, and commandments. So... He's going to be murdered in front of thousands of people. Not murdered. He's going to be put to death in front of thousands of people. If some heathens were found uh, committing an act of sodomy, they're going to be burnt alive or stoned to death in front of thousands of people, man. All right? Because that's a part of that system. A, a woman has to be in order. That's going to be a part of the system. All right? But within that system, the system is the, the, the governing tool, so to speak, of a power structure, man. And that power structure is going to be the kingdom. All right. Kingdom on uh, heaven or earth, man. Well, with that, I hope brothers are edified. Until the next lesson, shalom.